August 28, 1900. Dear mother and father, after what seems an eternity, Sarah and I finally arrived in Galveston this morning. This place sure is nothing like home. The nice lady who sat beside us on the train, Miss Ada May, said Galveston is called the New York of the South. And can you believe this big city is actually an island? And mom, you were right. The view of the ocean is breathtaking. Again soon, your son, Jim Bailey. September 4th, 1900. Dear mother and father, wow, is this city fast-paced. Large ships are steady in and out of the docks, and businessmen are almost running down the streets. I'm not even sure where they're all going. Sarah loves her new school and is doing great. You'd be so proud of her. This move is great for us. September 9, 1900. Dear Betty Sue, this morning a telegraph came in for the mayor about a storm headed our way. I'm told this storm is massive and could leave no survivors on the island.
all citizens have been advised to evacuate. I've decided to take Sarah and go to Dr. Woodruff's home and wait out the storm. I certainly hope this letter's not my last. Please send my love to mother and father. I love you. Your brother, Jim Bailey. September 9th, 1900. No one could have predicted how quick the storm could have got to Galveston. Not only did Sarah and I not make it to Dr. Woodruff's, but by 11 p.m. we were barricaded in our own house, hanging on to each other for dear life. around us. It was almost like time stood still. I couldn't stop looking for Sarah. I just needed to see her precious face and hear her voice one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bassett High School Marching Band from Bassett, Virginia, under the direction of Trey Harris.